Go ceiling. Yeah. What are you? Ceiling fan. <laughs> cool, eh? So today I'm going to show you a little bit of how we got our firewood um, processor all set up. It's a little different this year and a few more improvements. So I hope you're totally excited. Okay, so we made a few changes in, in how this uh, firewood processor is set up. Lots of guys, if you've watched, watched me before, you know that I have this forwarding table. But I added a second bearing in on the front and the back. I actually broke the hourglass roller last year. And I made a video of it that I haven't po posted yet because there's so much pounding on this shaft. So we put a second bearing so that this is supported better on both ends. And then we'll go to the end over here. Another thing, because I'm like way old, when a tree falls, it comes on here and it's short and it rolls and falls on the ground, back up a bit so you can, when a tree roll, a short one rolls and comes off the hourglass and falls in the back and then I've got to lift it like this, that sucks, right? <laughs> and so we put this on here so that a tree cannot come off over past the, the hourglass roller. And then here's the other repair here, this one. This, I broke this shaft, right? So I we ended up machining inside and made a collar to fit all this so that the bearings would all fit in different sizes and it really sucked. But we got it lined up so that now it's supported here so that the bearing isn't just being bounced and break this shaft again. Touch wood, it stays that way. Nothing much different on here. Well, two things, I guess. Firewood processor is still the same. I have this rope here. Can you see without the light in your eyes? Yeah. This one here feeds my table for the logs ahead. So this one here, I feed the table and it pulls the lever and rolls the log ahead onto the hourglass roller. Then I feed my lo lo log ahead, right? I have this one here now. This one is pulled straight to hook and second hydraulic working, which is here so now the firewood comes out and i threw the uh i threw the hydraulics onto this conveyor so it rolls out okay so the firewood always comes out of this conveyor i use this uh this is my wood chunker but it has a conveyor that runs just off hydraulics so i ran it over to the tractor so now i can just turn this conveyor on so it's dumping onto here dumping onto here and then delivering out up the old conveyor for the primary reason is to get the pile further away and so if I had another couple conveyors I would make piles way over but this is how it's set up so now I'm going to fire up the conveyor and then the tractor and then you guys can watch us with the fantastic job that it is start the tractor and feed you a log and you can see how it goes So I disconnect that conveyor, so that it doesn't stop. The hydraulics will only need one at a time. Then we need along ahead. I don't want two. I'll back the conveyor back in.
watched this before. This moves up and down, right? So I can adjust the axe, split it in only half, or I can do four ways, right? So if you haven't seen this process before, that's one or the other. Hey, here's a little uh, aerial view of the firewood system. Had a bunch of birch logs delivered, made a video of that. We could post or you could watch that. And I just used the uh, log truck, grab them, and throw them on that wagon. And that old wagon is an actual old haystack mover is what it is with a, f with a live chain floor on it. Feed the logs ahead onto the blue table, which we built through the paylax. Halt the paylax, and then use that extra chunker conveyor and and starting a new pile. You hear the robins? Yeah, this is my favorite time of the year, I think. So that's what it looks like. Now let's watch it go to work. <laughs> <laughs> 